Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. So today we start uh, our chapter 7 matrices subtopic 7.3 inverse of a matrix. At the end of the lesson you should be able to find the inverse of a non-singular matrix using two methods which are adjoint matrix and AB is equal to KI. So for, first of all we need to know on how to find the adjoint matrix. So we go to the first example, find the adjoint for the matrix P. So in order to find the matrix adjoint for the matrix P, we need to calculate the cofactor matrix. Okay, so we already learned on how to find the core matrix. So you can pause the vid this video and try to find the cofactor matrix for matrix P. So remember the diamond shape of sign negative 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 positive okay so in order to find the cofactor matrix uh, we need to delete uh, each element so for example if you want to find the cofactor for uh, 1 1 so we need to delete row 1 and column 1 so we left with 2, 1 and 1, 3 and we can write the left or uh, the remaining number in determinant form. So you can proceed with all the elements in matrix P. Okay, so now we look at, at the answer. So you should be able to get uh, this type of cofactor matrix. Okay, uh, and then we calculate the determinant. So we can use the AD minus BC. So we will get the answer is uh, 5, negative 8, 1, negative 3, 0, 1, negative 4, 8 and negative 4. Okay. After you get the uh, the cofactor matrix, so in order to find the adjoint, we need to transpose uh, the cofactor matrix. Okay, so you do do you remember on how to transpose the matrix? Yes, we need to change the row into a column and column into row. So for this matrix, we will get. Um, 5, negative 3, negative 4, negative 8, 0, 8, 1, 1, and negative 4. Therefore, our adjoint P is this matrix. So remember, in order to find adjoint, you need to find the core factor first and then transpose it in order to get the adjoint. Okay, so now we want to learn on how to find the inverse of a matrix. So for the first method is called as adjoint matrix. The formula is A inverse is equal to 1 over determinant of A multiplied with adjoint A. Okay, so we go to the next example. Given matrix P, find the value of P inverse by using matrix adjoint. So based on the formula, uh, we know that um, P inverse is equal to 1 over determinant of A multiplied with adjoint A. So we need to find the determinant first and then we find the adjoint. So remember on how to find the determinant. So you can pause the video and try to find the determinant of P. So we got the answer for determinant is uh, negative 8. Okay, next. Okay, next uh, we want to find the adjoint. Um, okay, so basically this is the adjoint. So we already calculate it at the beginning of the video. So, in order to find the inverse, you just substitute into the formula. So, the formula is 1 over determinant. So, this is your determinant. 
and multiply with your adjoint so you will get your inverse so you will get the answer is negative 5 over 8 3 over 8 1 over 2 1 0 negative 1 negative 1 over 8 negative 1 over 8 and 1 over 2 so this is how you find the inverse matrix by using the adjoint matrix so we go to the second method so the second method is a b is equal to ki so in order to find the inverse you need to multiply a inverse with the both left hand side and right hand side so we know that a inverse multiply with a is equal to i and k multiply with i which is the identity matrix will get k Okay, and then we move the k into left hand side so we have 1 over k multiply with b is equal to a inverse therefore a inverse is equal to 1 over k multiply with b so denote that a and b is a matrix and k is a constant so we go to the example given matrix a and matrix b find it to, uh, find a b and deduce a inverse so first of all the question asks you to find a multiply with b so you need to multiply a and b so remember how to multiply the two matrices so you can pause this video and then try to multiply the two matrices before you look at the answer Okay, so we got your answer is 9, 0, 0, 0, 9, 0, and 0, 0, 9. So we can uh, pull out the 9. So we got A, B is equal to 9, I. Okay, therefore, uh, we know that A, B is equal to 9, I. So we need to deduce A inverse. So we can multiply both sides with A inverse. So similar uh, with previous uh, equation, AB is equal to KI. So we will get A inverse multiply with A is equal to I and 9I is equal to 9. So in order to find A inverse, we need to move 9 into the left hand side. So we will get 1 over 9B is equal to A inverse. Uh, therefore, A inverse is equal to 1 over 9B. Okay, so the inverse you just multiply 1 over 9 with matrix B. So A inverse is equal to 1 over 9 with matrix B. So by using this method, uh, we don't have, uh, we don't need to find the determinant or adjoint in order to find the inverse. Okay, so we multiply 1 over 9 with matrix B. So don't forget to multiply 1 over 9 into the matrix B. Okay, so you need to multiply it 1 by 1 into all the elements. Okay, then you will, got, uh, you will get your inverse. And this is the answer.